subscribers, that's completely absurd. So I wrote you a few lines, it's not much, I know. But this kind of gratitude is difficult to show. With just words or pictures, they won't do the trick. But a smooth jam with samples, kids will think that's sick. Wait, the kids still say sick? Five years since I started, now seems so far away. But because of you, now I get to do what I love to do each day. Now I don't take this too seriously, but seriously enough, and the journey from my kitchen right to Coney Island was tough, but I'm glad that you were with me. You still come back twice a week, and to watch me act the fool, that dedication's quite the feat. And this year's been a tough one, for everyone concerned. But I think if nothing else, there's at least one thing that I've learned, that in every grim adversity, a remedy you'll find. With friends and laughter, food and stuff works almost every time. All right, here we go. I apologize if you've already seen that rap that you had to watch it a second time. <laughs> but uh, I thought it would be a good idea to start the video with it because this is it, the uh, the 1 million subscriber special. And uh, you'll have to forgive me if I sound a bit lethargic because I've been fasted for, I don't know, God knows how many hours now. And it is about 7.04 in, uh, in the morning. I'm just out having a bit of a walk, trying to work up a, a sweat because today's gonna be intense and it always feels a bit weird to me, you know, overeating if I haven't done any kind of exercise. So that's what I'm doing right now, but I'm about to head back to the house. I'll jump in the shower and then I'll explain how this thing's gonna work. All right, look at that. Fresh as a daisy, complete with more traditional backwards baseball cap. <laughs> okay, so. 1 million subscribers. That's enough to fill 11 Wembley stadiums, five Glastonbury festivals, and more than the entire population of Fiji. That's mad. So of course I spent a lot of time thinking about what would be the best way to celebrate this milestone. And uh, as far as I can tell, there's only one thing for it. This is Big Mix Food and this is the 1 million calorie challenge. Sell crazy someplace else. We're all stocked up here. It's not. I'm kidding. <laughs> but I know people love these uh, cheat day videos and I bet there's a lot of hate out there right now. <laughs> people feeling robbed, like throwing their phones down and stuff. It can't be done, it's, it's impossible. But yeah, I know people love these uh, cheat day style videos and because it's such an amazing milestone, I really want to make this as interactive as possible. So rather than aiming for a number of calories or an amount of food, I'm gonna try to eat whatever you tell me to. I know, it's genius. It's a gimmick, but it's genius. So I'm gonna push the button and see what you people want me to eat. Now there are some rules, conditions, caveats, if you will. First, one item per person. If somebody tweets me and says, eat 50 cheeseburgers, of course that's gonna take up a huge portion of the video. And the idea is to try and get to as many requests as possible while at the same time eating as much as possible. Second, the more widely available that item is, then the more likely I am to do it. So if somebody says, go eat a Big Mac or a Snickers or a cookie, then I can just jump in the car and go get it. If somebody says, eat, I don't know, an ostrich egg, then not so much. I'm gonna drive around all day looking for an ostrich farm and I don't know where my closest ostrich farm is. Hey Siri, where's the nearest ostrich farm? The nearest one I found is Oslink on England in Boston. I mean, that is only two hours away, so I suppose it's technically possible, but you get the idea. Third, nothing spicy. I know I'm a scaredy cat, but the idea here is to eat as much as possible. And if I eat spicy food, I'm just gonna be crying in a corner somewhere, not eating. And finally, drinks are allowed, but no alcohol. Because A, it reduces my appetite. B, I'm a lightweight, I get drunk really easily. And C, Mrs. Beard finds me irresistible when drunk. And you know, we don't want this to turn into an X-rated video. Anyway, the button has been pushed. I'm gonna let that marinate for a while, let some requests flow in, and then we'll get on down to eating. But um, you can't do a cheat day video without a training montage, right? 
Nah, I'm only joking. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. Um. <laughs> it's one million subscriber special day. I can't, I can't do it without you. I feel like a, a kid on Christmas morning. Come on, come on, mummy, wake up. <laughs> Give over, I'm away. I think I'm gonna go with the Twitter request first because although it is the uh, the one remaining platform I don't actually have the verified tick on, it is one of my favorites. I barely have any followers on there, but um, I like it. I think because it's, um, you know, it's short and punchy. <laughs> bit like you, darling, bit like you. I was just gonna say a bit like you. Why, why do people think I'm short though? I don't, I don't get it. Like I'm 5'10", that's average size. We, uh, we made the mistake, or, or should I say I made the mistake, but we're filming this on a Sunday, so pretty much nothing's open right now, apart from McDonald's, so we're going to start with that. Hi, can I take your order? Hi, can I have a sausage McMuffin please? Yeah, anything um, else? Yeah, a small black coffee, please. Black coffee, yeah, anything else? No, that's everything, thank you. No, two hundred and please. Thanks. I think that's the smallest order I've ever made at McDonald's. Yeah, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Alright, we're starting the day with something... Um, <laughs> pretty simple. So, uh, Mrs Egg Jen says sausage McMuffin, which we've got. And uh, Mikey P, Mike Pendry on Twitter. A cup of uh, black coffee. Boring, but you'll need it. Mike's a thinking man, you know. That'll get the uh, the old colon warmed up, you know. I haven't actually pooped this morning, so that might help. Mm. What's it like actually eating at this time? Just because for all of you, for all of you out there who don't know, Adam doesn't eat well about four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. So what's it like eating on a morning? I don't like eating this. <laughs> I don't like eating this early, but there's a cruel irony to it because my favourite foods are actually breakfast foods. The only thing I like at McDonald's really is um, the breakfast menu. There is something about the, the coffee at McDonald's too. <laughs> you always say it's... I always say it because it, there's something that's really nice about it and it, it, it's cheap. It shouldn't be that nice. So I think there's something like a chemical in there or something dodgy, but... It smells really good. Nice. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Let's see uh let's see what's next up. Ooh, this is pretty hot. Alright, we uh, we're doing the McDonald's. We're just gonna swing by a Tesco now, which hopefully is open. 9.30? Should be. Should be okay. Alright, so um we got the stuff from Tesco. Uh, the first thing is from Klee4769 on Instagram. I think uh, he says pepperami, which I think is a good choice. Don't say anything. <laughs> Don't say anything. <laughs> Do people actually eat them just for kicks? Gum. And, um. <sighs> I don't know, who, who the heck would just buy a pepperami as a snack? It stinks. Yeah, they're, they're not the... <laughs> they don't taste bad, but I don't, I don't know if they're the most practical snack. And uh, this is going to be much more fun. Gruffalo Grandad says fresh cream chocolate eclair. Yes, please, Mrs. Bid. Oh, yeah. It's not really a breakfast thing. Mmm, the cream inside. Yeah, I didn't really want to start on the desserts too early, but um, I don't think there's really any way for me to plan this. <laughs> Gemma K. Williams says, Massive fan beard. Love watching your videos for the past five years. Thank you very much, Gemma. That's a, a long that's, time. Yeah, that's a long time. Since being pregnant, congratulations. The only thing I crave and can't have is Red Bull. It might not be good, but it's a nice cold drink to help it all go down. See, there are a lot of people thinking out there. I'm definitely gonna need some liquids. I think we've just been on a Google camera. It's weird when you were a kid, you always used to feel a little bit naughty when you bought a Red Bull, don't you think? Because it was kind of like, it's an energy drink, right? So it's not, you shouldn't really be buying these if you're a, if you're a kid. They can be dangerous. If you, I remember when I graduated, I drank 15 of these because I've been up like, um, I don't know, since like four. Well, I've got a rush, you know, we've got a lot of, there are already like 2000 requests. And I put up the post, what, like an hour ago? 
So, uh, we got a lot to do today. So, let's get a move on. We're next at, like, uh, Costa? Costa. Hi, can I have a croissant, please? Yeah. And a... What was it? Vanilla iced latte. Vanilla iced latte, please. <laughs> They've got a little contraption which kind of comes out to your car. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's... Oh, they say small things please small minds, don't they? Don't they? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we got stuff from Costa and um, now I'm going to go home. We're going to regroup. We've been out for like, what, an hour or so. Pretty local. And then I'm hoping somebody's suggested Five Guys, surely. <laughs> Five Guys is about to open, I think, in like an hour. Right, so uh, I've got the stuff from uh, from Costa. Um, so Izzy Heart 2000 on Instagram said uh, Costa Vanilla Iced Latte. So, and uh, Matt Larson 07 says Quason, just so you can give another lesson on how to pronounce it. <laughs> Mrs. Big calls them uh, Quasants, as you probably heard when she was ordering it. Uh, I would say Quason, right, because it's it is a French word. Gotta keep the beer clean. We're only just getting started. <laughs> I should really turn the notifications bell off. That's gonna get annoying. <laughs> Mrs. Beard is just, um, we kind of came back to, to regroup, right? <laughs> and uh, Mrs. Beard, she's gone to the, the shop to pick up a couple of little things so um hopefully she should be back soon and then i'm gonna admit it right okay i was i was looking for this particularly in the comments i was looking for somebody to, to uh to suggest five guys so <laughs> i found it so we're gonna um we're gonna go to five guys in you know a few minutes izzy heart 2000 thank you for that one really enjoyed that so if i've uh, i've calculated correctly so far, we're only at about 1,300 calories. And we're like, what, two and a half hours in? I'm gonna have to speed things up. Ah, oh, some of these comments. Three-tier wedding cake? Like, how can I how can I fit that in the video? Like, <laughs> some, of these, some of these comments are just mad. <laughs> and then there are people getting mad at other people because... <laughs> oh, I've never seen. Somebody's like, he said one! And there's like a big, <laughs> screamy, angry face. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll eat some of these. And then we'll go in my, should we go in my car to five guys? Okay, we got a few more items. Johnny Round says, wow, amazing idea and unique. I'm not sure about that, Johnny, but I'll take the compliment. How about a pork pie? That's a, that's a good choice. Everyone loves a pork pie. I, I really didn't think this through. I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this video together. It's gonna take forever. The next one is from Ashley Charlotte Grice. Who says, can't wait for this video, I'm a big fan. Thank you, Ashley. I request a packet of pickled onion monster munch. The tattooed Anna says, whisper gold. I haven't had one of these for ages. A whisper gold, in case you're wondering, if you don't know, it's um, it's kind of like a it's it's a chocolate bar, but it's um, it's kind of porous in the middle, right? It's a little bit bubbly with some uh, some caramel in there. All right, Isabella Nicole says Oreos. That's a plural, but I'll allow it, and I'll eat just the one Oreo. <laughs> And uh, right before we head to Five Guys, Ryan Renison says one Kit Kat Chunky Peanut Butter, my favorite chocolate bar, and congratulations on one million subs. Been watching from the very beginning, so thank you very much, Ryan. And I actually, I, I, I don't like chocolate that much, but um, if I'm gonna choose a, you know, a pimped out chocolate bar, then Kit Kat Chunky Peanut Butter, it's up there. 
I would love to make like a, a giant Kit Kat one day. You think we could do that, babe? I almost certainly wouldn't be able to finish it because I'm terrible with chocolate, but we could give it a shot. I've eaten way too much sweet stuff already. <laughs> Alright, that should have bumped up the calorie count a little bit. Let's hit the road. Five guys. Five guys next. Maybe I should clean this up a little bit. I really need to stop eating in here. It's getting kind of gross. Alright, so we're um we're in the, we're in my car now. Which I, people keep saying it's a fancy car, it's like a clapped out BMW. It's probably got more miles on it than I have subscribers now. But um, we're going to, uh, to Five Guys, I can't wait. I haven't eaten at Five Guys for like almost half a year, I think. And uh, I think somebody told me to get uh, a cheeseburger and of course a beer shake. So um, yeah, that's what we're gonna get. It kind of feels like um, a pilgrimage. You know, like uh, like going to Mecca or something. Oh, it's been so long, I can't wait. It's been too long, it's been too long. You say you remember when I did the really big burger? Yeah, man, yeah, yeah man, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a nice one, man. Do you want another one, yeah? Thank you, another one, anytime. I'm just, I'm just doing a small one today. Maybe I'll come back for that. No worries, man. Good to see you here, man, anytime. All right, so um, it's good to be back. We got uh, a grilled cheese, a burger, and of course, had to get a beer shake. Not because I wanted it, I mean, I did want it, but, um, a few people have asked for it. Alex McCall says, uh, Beard Meets Food, we love watching your vids. Grilled cheese sandwich from Five Guys. Here's a joke for you. I've got an Irish auntie. Her name is Patty. Patty O'Dawes. Impressive. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> James Fisher Wright says, the classic beard shake from, uh, from Five Guys. And uh, Sean Gardiner says, Five Guys burger. Normally I would have gone for the, the bacon cheeseburger, but he said just a, a regular burger. So I, I got the regular one. Look at that. Nothing better. Oh. That smells amazing. What are you looking forward to more? The shake or the grilled cheese sarnie? Just big. What? And it's not like the Five Guys burgers are just normal burgers. They're like burgers on steroids. You know when I did that, um, it was just a normal day video where I talked yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. I did that stupid training montage. Some people actually said that I was on steroids, which made me laugh because I'm, I'm like, what am I, 154 pounds? I should have got weighed this morning, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. A before and after weight. Are you kind of wishing that more people had asked for five guys? I'm kind of thinking, is there a record for the most five guys burgers eaten? Because there's a Big Mac record, right? Mm -hmm. Jeff Esper did the Whopper record. Maybe I could do the Five Guys record. I, I, you know, part of me almost enjoys the grilled cheese of Five Guys more, not, maybe not more than the burgers, but equally. It's so simple, but... Let's have a look at it. I know it, it doesn't look very special, but there's something to it, the fact that they do it, you know, inside out. It's delicious. Saving that bit of cheese in your beard for later. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than that. Actually, speaking of advertisement for Five Guys, they actually emailed me not last week, the week before, to tell me that they were launching. They've launched some new uh, milkshakes, like strawberry dessert. I think one of them is called like strawberry shortcake or cheesecake or something. And they asked me if I could, if I'd go to a thing to taste them. I said no because. Um, I said, no, if it's not bacon, Oreo, and peanut butter, I don't want to know. <laughs> Lost for words. I am, uh, I feel almost speechless. At least that's bumped the calories a little bit. That must be over 4,000 now, total. Cheers, mate, appreciate it. I tell you, I'm genuinely a bit sad that the, the five guys thing is over. I did tinker with the idea of just doing the, the full, or trying to do the full Five Guys menu, but I didn't think that'd be, you know, like, big, big enough or entertaining enough for a, a million subscribers 
I will definitely do that at some point though. Anyway, now we're um, <laughs> we're at Greg's, which is a bit of a come down. <laughs> but I've uh, I've sent Mrs. Beard in because I'm I'm on driving duty, so she's on the food pickup duty. Um, she's gonna get some stuff that people have asked for <laughs> from Greg's. I'm gonna finish off this uh, delightful milkshake. I'll tell you, this shake is something else. If you never tried it, probably don't go in and ask for the beard shake. If you do it at Kirkstall, they'll probably know what you're talking about. But um, just, you know, most places ask for a, a peanut butter, Oreo, and bacon milkshake. I know it sounds a little bit zany, just trust me. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> okay, watch out, watch out, watch out. Don't sit on the camera. All right, so um, we got stuff from, uh, from Greg's that's been requested. Hannah Wood says, a Greg steak bake. Good luck. Thanks, Hannah, appreciate that. Chriselle Allen, hope I said that right. How about a sausage roll? Um, it says, I think they are popular in your country. They always look amazing. Chriselle, they're not amazing, but they are quite popular. They but... are amazing. <laughs> you only eat the, the pastry anyway. You don't even eat the sausage. <laughs> she catch my drift. <laughs> Stop it. This is why I used to actually lose weight whenever I went on holiday because heat just uh, makes you not want to eat. Wasn't supposed to rhyme, but <laughs> it's true. I'm pushing through though, pushing through. All right, done. Where are we going next? I think maybe we should um, regroup at home and then... Okay. Then think about it from there. We've got, I mean, it's only like what? 12 o'clock, one o'clock? 12.15, plenty of time. All right, so um, we're back at base camp. So far I've managed to scale uh, what, like five and a half thousand calories, which is <laughs> pretty bad so far, but this is, it's hard to get the calories in when other people are choosing the food. So, you know, it's pretty fun to, uh, you know, try and get through it all. But um, yeah, we're gonna head out again in uh, a few minutes, but we picked up some stuff on the, on the way home, some little things that people have asked for. So we got NJH Elizabeth says, I am brew as a drink. Great idea, I wasn't gonna eat it, but um, <laughs> no, I, li I like Iron Brew, even after they change the recipe. Amber Hayes says, all right, beard, I'll keep it fairly simple and say, just eat a sushi roll that I can do. I got a, a sushi roll here. Amber's also included a question. Question is, if you could travel anywhere for a food challenge, where would you go and what food would you want the challenge to be? Congratulations and happy eating. Ah, oh, thanks, Amber. Very nice of you. Um, I think I've always wanted to do, there's this food challenge at a place called Tom and Chi. It's like a chain, but I think they're mostly along the southeast side of, uh, of the States. And they do uh, a, a 13 grilled cheese donut challenge called the Baker's Dozen Challenge. So I've always really wanted to do that one. I hope they're still doing it, um, you know, when I can get back out there, but I'll, I'll eat the sushi roll now. It's been a while since I ate sushi, but that was, um. That wasn't bad. Next we got this scotch egg, which is so big you could probably kill somebody with it. Look at that. And this comes from Adrian Dixon. This is on Twitter, who says, got to be a massive scotch egg or two. I'll just go with the one. Thanks, Adrian. <laughs> This is beastly. It's more scotch than it is egg. Not for sure. All right, next we got a Ginster's steak slice. It's not that long since I did the entire Ginster's range, actually. Still haven't figured out if it's Ginster's or Ginster's, but this comes from AH2 Extreme, and uh, yeah, it's the, the steak slice. I would warm it up, but we're a little bit pressed for time today. Kelly Marie Tanner says, ooh, one pack of Dairy Lee Lunchables. I think somebody likes Lunchables a bit too much. <laughs> So Lunchables, if you don't know what they are, <laughs> they're pretty much as miserable as they look. Crackers, 
some slices of what's supposed to be ham and uh, a little bit of cheese. You're supposed to make these uh, these little crackers out of them. I'm not really doing this right. I'm, I'm totally packing them full of ham and cheese, but I, I suppose they're not without their charm. All right, George Fisher Seven says a cherry bakewell. That I can do because I'm, I'm a big fan of the uh, of the cherry bakewell. I Z Keegan's, I think this is on Instagram, says uh, plain but simple and good to eat, a crunchy. Ian W ninety nine, I think this is Instagram again. Yep, says a double deck. This is a bit stumpy. And finally, for this um, quite enjoyable intermission, a great choice, the humble Kinder Bueno. Now, technically this is two things, or two of the same thing, but um, I like Kinder Bueno, so I'll let you off on this one. And this was requested by Harry A. Saw. So thanks, Harry. More stuff like this, easy to eat, high in calories. All right, I think if my calculations are correct, we're just below 8,000 calories, which is a bit more respectable by this time. It is now just past two o'clock. I don't know if you can see that. And I think now, Mrs. Beard, you out there? Where are we going next? A number of places, all right. We're going to uh, a number of places. You're driving this time. Oh. Just finishing off the uh, the old iron brew now. You gotta finish it, because uh, people say you're cheating and stuff. <laughs> Got Mrs. Beard compiling a list of uh, potential next destinations. Where are we going next? Um. Krispy Kreme, next. I can get on board with that. Know, we'll give it like 10 minutes. It's around the, the I feel all right, but around the, the eight to 10,000 calorie mark, you do start to feel a little bit sluggish. That and I'm, I'm watching Leeds United, who um, yesterday clinched promotion to the Premier League. I know probably nobody cares out there. And technically I'm an Arsenal fan, but Leeds are like my second team, so I'm watching them uh, play against Derby here. But you know, it's, I'm, it's a hard day at work today. So I'm not going to get distracted. We'll be on the road in, in just a jiffy. Right, Mrs. Beard? Let's go. Are you legitimately... Why are you using pen and paper? Show that we've got Wait, a track. it's not 1980. Come on, like, go through the drive through Put my pen behind my ear as well. Yeah, <laughs> where's your final fax? Is that in the back somewhere? Hi, what can I give you? Uh, just a whopper, please. Is it you? No, just on its own, thank you. Is that everything? Uh, yep. Yeah. 4.79, love, thank you. Brilliant, thank you. 4.79 for a whopper? Is that good or I'm bad? I don't know, I'm starting to feel old. That seems like a lot to me for one single bird. The humble whopper. Who is this from? Oh man, I've forgotten. Give me a sec. Here we go. Um, this is from AD... G ugh, I can't read. <laughs> ADJG underscore one. It's got to be the humble, trusty, yet delicious Burger King Whopper for me. Congrats on the one million beard. Thank you very much. Adj one. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm gonna ooh, look at this. So this looks a bit anemic. That is not the, the finest whopper I've ever seen. <laughs> oh it's four pounds seventy-nine. Mm-hmm. And the five guys burger is the regular burger is like um the single patty burger is like six quid or something. One pound thirty more and you get a decent but I mean the whopper's alright. 
Yeah, certainly better than a Big Mac, but falls way short of five guys. Like, you know you can slow down and enjoy this food, you don't have to rush it. Well, you say that. But you have, um, mm. especially weak arms, mm -hmm. and you're holding the camera, so I'm trying to eat it reasonably quick, so you don't just pass out and drop <laughs> the camera on the floor. What did I do that time? 35,000 calories in a day? Admittedly, I was choosing my own food, right, so it's it's easier to do it because you can, like, I'm chugging cream and, you know, frying stuff in, in I don't know, lard and, and, and things like that. So when you're eating just regular food, it's it's far harder to do that, but... We're not even at 10,000 calories yet. I think this would be, like, eight and, eight and a half or something. <laughs> I can see everyone getting, um... Getting mad at home, they'll be hoping for... <laughs> A really high calorie count. 100 million calories. Do you think people will be mad that you haven't redone the uh, 100,000 calorie challenge? Yeah. <laughs> because I said I would think about redoing it potentially if I hit a million subscribers thinking that I would never hit a million. But I have a history of breaking promises because I told you that <laughs> I'd marry you like seven years ago. <laughs> That hasn't happened, but I think it's, it can be done. It can definitely do, be done because when I failed, when I tried it, whatever it was three years ago, I did like, I think 90,000 or something, but to really do it, to do it a second time and guarantee that I could actually finish it, there's no way you can make it entertaining. I think you would have to just get up in the morning, drink like a gallon of cream and then eat like a 10,000 calorie meal, which is doable and repeat that like four times. And I don't think there's really any entertainment value in that but that that was me i just wanted to do something different but yeah i'm sure some people will be uh will be mad about it but <laughs> that's life right shove that in now because my arms are aching <laughs> and we've got more places to go tell you i've got news for you it's gonna be a burger king whopper <laughs> It's gonna make you. <laughs> I gotta say, after the Pacific and the Atlantic, Billy is my favourite ocean. <laughs> Back at McDonald's again. Hi, yeah, can I get a Big Mac, please? No! Uh, no, just on its own, please. I probably, was it you that said the Big Mac? I'm just taking your word for it here. Everyone knows I hate Big Macs. All right. We're eating on the move now. So, so who's this? Anthony. Anthony, oh yeah, Anthony, Alec, Big Mac. <laughs> good yeah. choice, good choice. This sauce is going everywhere. <laughs> Fish and chips is next up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there's, some, there's some mad stuff that I've done. It's been a fun, it's been a fun day though, so far. <laughs> I bet it's been fun for you. <laughs> Imagine what other people are thinking as they're driving the other way. I'm holding this huge camera and just stuffing chunks of Big Mac into my mouth. Oh, that's just <laughs> What? It's good for Big Mac. Pardon? <laughs> that's better. I look slightly more presentable now. Right, what is uh, it's it's fish, not fish and chips. I've seen the I've seen the tweet. It's it's just it's just fish. Uh, well, I'm getting fish and chips. I hope that's okay. It may be. We can we we can make this like a team thing. You you take care of it. This uh, this place looks um. You said it's quite unique. Cause it's got um a drive-through, right? Through. Yeah. Which you you never see fish and chip shops um in England or anywhere else really. Because they don't have fish and chip shops anywhere else <laughs> with drive throughs so um it's up here somewhere all right okay fish and chip shop drive through what a time to be alive i mean it, like <laughs> it looks a bit dank this is so weird hi what can i get for you hi can i just get a fish on its own please yeah anything else uh, yeah and just fish and chips please and I, I know it's fish and chips right so I, I don't want to sound stupid but they still smell exceptionally fishy <laughs> big d too thick a fish from the chippy 
I find it a bit strange he didn't just say fish and chips. I'm glad he didn't because I, you know, I don't, you know me, I don't like chips. So big, big G, big, it be big D. Thank to, you very much. Wouldn't it be big D to the C? Not. Oh yeah, maybe it's that. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Sticking out the end. It's golden. It was hot. <laughs> I'm just gonna put mine in the back. <laughs> I'm not feeling so well now. <laughs> I've got these big dark bags around my eyes. <laughs> I look like something from a Tim Burton movie. It's the mixture of food, that's what you know, it's just when you go from like sweet stuff to savory stuff, it's all different types of food. When I used to go to like red hot buffet back in the day, and you would eat, you know, like Indian food, Italian food, American food, Chinese food, and it just it, it just doesn't it doesn't sit right if you eat it all together. Yeah, I just used to have Yorkshire puddings and garlic bread, obviously. Right, crispy cream. Oh, at least that's sweet. <laughs> this is Adam when he's not happy. Because <laughs> he's really warm, the food is really hot, he doesn't really like fish and chips, he doesn't want to eat them. I mean, I like, I, like, I like fish and chips. From time to time. But because I'm in charge of um, also picking out what's going in his mouth, I obviously chose fish and chips. Also, fish and chips, it always makes you feel like you're acutely about to have a heart attack. Even even though there's nothing particular, it's, it's not that unhealthy. It's just, you know, really greasy, deep fried mm -hmm. white fish. But Love fish. There we go. Done. Right. Krispy Kreme time. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting terrible in my old age. You look really ill. I, I don't feel too well, I'll be honest. All oh, these floor wipes. I don't know what's wrong with me. Shadow of my former self. It's alright, once the season kicks off again, I'll be, I'll be back. <laughs> I don't want to say back on top, but back in the middle somewhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's still the, the, the poutine contest in Canada is supposed to happen at the end of the year, so hopefully that'll go ahead. It'll give me something to practice for. <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a little bit better. I think it was just the... I don't know, the fish and chips and the heat kind of got to me. Krispy Kreme I'm kind of, I'm looking forward to. Do you know which one it is? Um, yeah, um, can I have a Biscoff one please? Yeah. Um, a Reese's peanut butter. Yeah. I think the other one was the original for you. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> just, just for the record, she said I have a boyfriend watching my videos. I feel, yeah, I feel does. humbled now. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, cause I remember, did you have like this afternoon picnic box thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we did that a few weeks ago. We, Oh my god, that was so good. That, that was, was good. That was really nice. <laughs> yeah, you can oh, take a picture. Yeah, 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 of course yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Thank That's you. fine. Do you want to? I'll, 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 I'll give you the Just be my first person. Uh, what do you want me to just yes, kind of like, no. oh, Just yeah. if you. Wait, 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 which one? Just so you can get. Do you want me to take it? Oh, you yeah. Take it. yeah, you take it. Smile, Adam. I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell, it's fine. It's weird. Is that okay? Yes. No worries, no worries. Thank you. Nice so to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so we uh, we got the donuts, and uh, I provided high class selfie services there for that young lady. I actually took the photo, so it's not really a selfie. Yeah, yeah no, you did. Yeah. yeah. Um, now we're gonna go home. Actually, I feel quite a bit better now. I think the, the I don't know the fish just got to me a little bit, and the, and the warm temperatures it's cooled down a little bit now. Gonna go home, watch some TV, and then what? Well, there's a few more things in there. Garlic bread, I think. Yeah, definitely on that. Yeah, I think that's probably you. You've, you've probably created like four or five accounts just to <laughs> to comment garlic bread repeatedly. I tell you, I'm not cut out for these um, full day of eating videos anymore. <laughs> that's a, that's a young man's game. <laughs> right, we got um, <laughs> we got uh, we got the donuts. Okay, Krispy Kreme. Normally, I'm not allowed to, to eat in this room. This is the living room, which I assume you've probably never seen before. Maybe once or twice. A lot of people say that we keep the kitchen looking like a show home, but I think that's 
That's just because I like to tidy up. Lindsay makes a mess, but I, <laughs> I, I tidy up the kitchen. Excuse but up here, it really is like a, a show home. Anyway, um, we're gonna go with the, the, the Biscoff. Don't drop any bits on that I've, sofa. I've already I've already dropped a piece. Oh. Mm. The I'm telling you, for some reason, the fish just put a stop to me. That was, I don't know. I think I should have done the Biscoff last though. Yeah, I was going to say, you should have done your favourite last. Who was that one? Remember. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, Tom Pexton. Tom Pexton on Twitter said, uh, a Biscoff creep. I can't talk. I'm done today, I'm finished. <laughs> Tom Pexton said, uh, Biscoff Krispy Kreme donut. So thanks, Tom. I really enjoyed that. In contrast to the, the disgusting fish earlier on. I think that's Jay Vukovic, 89. Yeah. Original glazed Krispy Kreme donut. Good luck and congratulations on the big one, meh. Whenever I eat these now, I think about that time in the middle of uh, Leeds city center, eating, do, doing that, you know, I did like a donut competition against um, Eddie Hall. Oh, yeah. And I know I give Eddie Hall some stick, but my God. He was, I like, I don't, I'm not the fastest eater in the world, naturally. But I don't know, it, it took him probably two minutes to eat like three donuts. Mm. That's horrendous. I don't get donuts, I don't understand them. Right, this one is from X underscore my SW journey underscore X. My phone's just gonna be covered in so much goo by the end of today. X underscore my SW journey underscore X. Peanut butter Krispy Kreme. I think we might have messed up here. This is not a peanut butter and jam donut. I think we've got the wrong thing here, but. I asked the woman. It's all right though. I'm, I'm kind of glad that I got this one. That's actually nicer than the Biscoff one. And thanks to, um, Sophia Alexandra Lithgow, who says, congrats, man. Think you should have a nice glass of Cherry Pepsi Max. My favorite. Smiley face emoji. It's also my favorite, Sophia, so. Uh, it might not be wise because, you know, it's liquid without any calories in it. Mm -hmm. But this is the, only the second, what, a second drink I've had today? After the Iron Brew? Yeah. Oof. No wonder I'm feeling. Ropey. I'm probably severely dehydrated. Next we got, um, this is a good one. I like this from uh, Mike Ursa, who says, seeing as you've reached 1 million subscribers, technically you're now a millionaire. I wish. <laughs> so a nice slice of millionaire shortbread. I like that idea. So we got, uh, we got this millionaire shortbread from, uh, it's just from Tesco, so. Mm. And with that, thank God, we're at least over 10,000 calories, I think, now. <laughs> this is not about the calories, this is about eating what people want. True, but I'm not entirely sure I've done that, because I got like, I don't know, 4,000 requests, and I've probably done, I don't know, what, 30? I didn't really plan this well enough, but it's been pretty fun so far, kind of. It's getting kind of dark now. Can't really tell because there's a big beam of light <laughs> coming in, but it is getting gradually darker. Uh, right, the Ben and Jerry's. Bailey Southgate, who says ice cream, Ben and Jerry's. Thanks, Bailey. I like Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Who doesn't like Ben and Jerry's ice cream? But um, the fact that you didn't specify a flavor is quite handy because I chose my favorite, uh, which is I kind of go from flavor to flavor. It's probably cookie dough right now. I do like the speculoos, the flavor, but I kind of go off that if I have it too much. This is the thing about calorie challenges though. If you're choosing what you can eat, they're actually a piece of cake because this is a thousand calories. You could easily eat. I mean, what I, I ate 13 of these once on a video and that was, that was a bad idea, but you could eat like five of these and that's, that's a good 6,000 calories. Then if you drink a little bit of, I don't know, milkshake or stock, 
cooking stuff with lots of fried cheese, it's, it's easy to get above 10,000, even to 20,000. If you're not trying to eat specific calorie dense foods, then it's almost impossible to, to do a, a ludicrous amount of calories. Which is why it kind of bugs me when you see these videos where they're doing like, you know, 20, 30,000 calories and they're eating like bananas and Subway salads and stuff. It's like, just don't buy it. When I did the 100,000 calorie challenge, I was literally chugging double cream. And like, what did I, I, I like deep fried, I deep fried a cheese. I can't remember, what you? I think I deep fried like cheese donuts or something. My favorite used to be, um, I wish we had a blender. We moved house, we left the blender at the old, well, we didn't bring it with us. It was kind of an old blender. I used to love um, microwaving a Ben and Jerry's till it was kind of soft and then blending it with <laughs> like two liters of, um, of double cream and that would be like 5,000 calories or something. But it wasn't gross, it tasted good. I don't want to go back to savory now. <laughs> so many people have asked for garlic bread, I can't really not do it. I'm pretty sure I'm almost, I'm almost, um, I'm almost done with the SD card in this camera. And I don't think I have another one for the, the EOS R. I don't want to jinx it, but I haven't spilled oh, one you. single drop of this. <laughs> I would definitely like to do this again, but with more forward planning, maybe put a post up a few days in advance rather than the same day. Then you could kind of vet the comments a little bit more strictly, I suppose. Because I tried to get some from the morning, some from kind of lunchtime, some from around evening time, but yeah, it's hard. Especially while you're filming everything and trying to make it look snazzy. Your camera work is, I mean, it's getting better, but we need to get you doing some tricep kickbacks or, or something. No, I could hold the camera with my legs a bit and it can quite steady because I have strong legs, but <laughs> not my arms. I, I, can't, I can't debate that. I think your, uh, your legs are stronger than mine. Yeah, not that that's um... Always skipping leg day! <laughs> Never. Not once. Not even once. Right, that takes it to... Somewhere in the region of 11 or 12,000 calories, I think. Ugh. Time to order that garlic bread. Alright, it's late. This is gonna look terrible. <laughs> look at me. So this is gonna be the, the last meal of the day. A 1% success rate, but I gave it my best shot. Max J1998, who says uh, vanilla cheesecake, congrats on one mil. Thanks Max, appreciate it. I want some vanilla cheesecake there, which actually looks pretty good. It's very, it's pretty angular, you know? It does, like, it does kind of just look like a block of cheese, doesn't it? With some crust on, I hope it's not. Sanja Gox, who just says, Parma. That's it, no emoji, no exclamation mark, nothing. Straight to the point. All business. He's wearing a tuxedo on his profile picture, so that probably explains it. This monster of a human being, Daniel Buckley, says a kebab. That is, I mean, that's like the most miserable looking kebab ever. There's, there's like no salad in there. It's it's not even in the pit of bread. The pit of bread is just on top of the kebab meat. I'm quite thankful for that because I'm thirsty as hell. I barely drank anything today. This is from Apple BYN20. One litre bottle of original Lucasade. And this is it's a one litre bottle. Look, it's huge. Oliver Aris says, um, a piece of garlic bread, Mrs. Beard can have the rest of it. I like you thinking. I like you thinking, Ollie. So that's just what I'm gonna do. You can help out with carrying some of the calorie load today. That's that's technically look. That's two pieces. So I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have this one. Well, I'm 
I've got a can of strawberry daiquiri ready to eat my garlic bread with. There you go. You too. You too. <laughs> Thank you. All right, this is the palmo, which actually isn't bad. Sometimes you find the the chicken a little bit a little bit stiff, a little bit underdone in palmos, but this is perfect, perfectly crispy. Since it came from the same place that did this kebab. <laughs> Probably should have done this before the Palmer. Thank God for the look of it. I know it drives people crazy that I don't use, you know, sauce or dip very often. But that didn't even come with anything. No no garnish, no relish, nothing. <sighs> the kebab meat wasn't too bad, actually. I had probably far worse than that. I'm just gonna eat this like an animal. <laughs> this really does just look like a block of cheese, like Edam or Brie or something. I hope it's not. It's actually a lot softer than it looks. You know, when you eat all day like this, it's almost like you don't actually become full. You just start to notice it's becoming harder and harder to breathe, <laughs> which is kind of scary. Actually, it's not a, it's not a smart idea, so don't do it. <clears throat> That's why I tend to not do these really, really long cheat days anymore, just because I don't really think they're that fun, but they are quite punishing. But there we have it. That was the. Uh, the million subscriber special. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I apologize to the people that were expecting, you know, just some humongous calorie challenge. I can't tell you the amount of people that said, oh, do the one million calorie challenge. It can't be done. And, um, <clears throat> Yeah, as far as the 100,000 calorie challenge goes, I don't think, unless I used a lot of liquid, that I'd really be able to do it and make it entertaining at the same time. So hopefully you found that entertaining, you know, getting involved. I would have loved to have got to more people. Maybe I'll come back and do something like this again. If you like it, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll, I'll do it with a bit more forward planning next time. But thanks for watching. Thanks for getting me to a million subscribers really means the world to me and um, I'm taking the week off now <laughs> I promised myself if I ever reached a million subscribers I'd give myself the week off right <laughs> and uh, I've been eating a lot lately and that was pretty punishing so <clears throat> you'll have to wait a week for the next video but I'm sure you can uh, cut me some slack thanks for watching and I'll catch you at the next one which will be a restaurant challenge probably I hope. <laughs> Catch you next time. Ooh.